Hi guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC, and today I'm with Australia's number one selling EV as of April, the BYD Sea Lion 7. And I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know about how to charge this car, its AC charging speeds, its DC speeds, as well as its range. So let's get into it now. BYD has kept it simple here with two versions available in Australia. The first is the premium. Now it has an 82.56 kilowatt battery and a staggering 482 kilometers of range, which is fantastic for a vehicle of this size. In terms of AC charging, it's three phase 11 kilowatts of charging speed. So that's zero to full in about seven and a half hours. For DC charging, you can achieve up to 150 kilowatts per hour of charging speed. And that gives you about a 33 minute charging speed. Now for those uh, speed buffs, this zero to 100 kilometer speed is 6.7 seconds. Now the performance also has an 82.56 kilowatt battery. However, because it's tuned to go faster, it only gives you 456 kilometers of range. So you need to be mindful of that. Its charging speeds are the same as the premium with 11 kilowatt three phase, as well as a 150 kilowatt per hour DC charging speed. So that'll get you back to be fully charged in about 33 minutes. However, this from zero to 100 is only in four and a half seconds, which is pretty good when you consider the purchase price of this is around 70,000 and it will perform similar to a BMW or a Mercedes in terms of its zero to 100 speed. That is amazing. So let's tell you what you get inside the car and then we'll plug in and show you how and what you'll see on the screen. The BYD charging port is located on the driver's side at the rear, and that makes it easy. I like having charging points either at the back or right at the front. That way when you need to use a charger, you can reverse in or park in, and that's easy. Now to open the port, it's pretty simple. While the car is unlocked, just press here at the top and it will open up. The top section is your AC charging port. And if you open up this bottom port, that's the DC charging port, which I have right here. So when you're using those big, petrol station style chargers, that's when you use that bottom port. But if you're just using the home charger, the portable charger or the vehicle to load, you just need to use the top section. On the right hand side, BYD is giving you some nice green lights and that indicates your charging status. So all we gotta do now is plug in. And as you can see, the indicator light now starts to change color and that lets you know that the vehicle is preparing to charge. And when it does start charging, it changes color again. The BYDs have a cool feature where if you press the unlock button twice, it actually stops the charging and allows you to disconnect. And that's cool because sometimes you wanna get on, you don't have to open up apps or go in the car. So press the unlock button twice and that's it. The charging has just been shut down and it's now able to be pulled out. That's cool. So what you get with this car is two products, a portable EV charger. These just plugs into a standard Australian household outlet. So it's nice and simple, but it's a slow charger, right? 82 kilowatt battery, that's 40 plus hours of charging. So if you're using this vehicle with any regularity, that's not gonna be good enough. You're gonna need a home charger or something at work. Now EVS, this doesn't come with the car, but you can reach out to the likes of EVS and we can supply and install you with chargers that are compatible with the BYD and any other vehicle. The other product you get is a vehicle to load adapter. So this allows you to use the car as a kind of battery and you can kind of connect household outlets to that. Just be wary, that's not very outdoorsy. So kind of try and use it when undercover so that you don't get moisture or rain on that. But very generous by BYD, most EVs in the future are not going to be offering these kind of accessories as standard, similar to Tesla where you have to buy them as an accessory or extra. So there you have it, everything that you need to know about how to charge a new BYD Sea Lion 7. Of course, if you need anything for your home charging, fleet, workplace, or on the go DC chargers, please reach out to the friendly team at EVSC. We're Australia wide as well as in New Zealand, and we can handle any inquiry, big or small. So on behalf of the team, bye for now.